Hello everyone, I'm back here again with another Top 10 SH Figure Arts uh, list. It's not necessarily a review, but it's a Top 10 2019 SH Figure Arts video on the figures that I like the most this year. I know yesterday there was some people that did not agree with what I had to say. That's okay, I don't care because that's your list and this is my list and uh, yeah, some people really like really get into these videos I don't know but try not to get your panties in a bunch anyways this is my top 10 if you guys disagree write your top 10 in the description box below remember this is 2019 releases only so starting at number 10 we have the second release Boma and the co uh, convention exclusive Goku these figures yeah a lot of people well for the Kid Goku, I was very excited for it because I love Kid Goku in the blue outfit. And this is my version of Bulma that I like. I don't really care about the military style outfit that she had. But this is the Bulma outfit that I like and very uh, reminiscent of the first episode. So yeah, these two figures look very, very good together. I didn't do a review on Bulma. I just felt like everybody already did a review on her. So I didn't take the time to review her but I really did enjoy this figure and posing both of them together I can't wait to get the bike to finish off the set but yeah this had to be in my number 10 spot and the number 9 spot will have to go to Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta uh, reason why they're so far back I should have put them actually as number 10 because we've got this body mode many many times I mean I do like the updated gi with Goku here and the updated hairs but yeah I just feel like we've been getting a lot of Goku and Vegeta's which I mean we do need to get all the forms but yeah because it's so repetitive I still love these figures don't get me wrong I should have put them at number 10 but um yeah these will be at my number 9 not really much to say it's just a lot of repeats with the same body mode and for number eight this one was an easy one it had to go to kid krillin and the reason why i enjoyed this kid krillin is because he was very animated like and i really like this cheesy grin that he has and he came with a buttload of accessories a lot of accessories a lot of hands energy effect rock dragon ball yeah, he came with a lot for such a little tyke. So yeah, he had to be at number 8. And yeah, it's just a really cool figure. Uh, just my only gripe about these smaller figures is because I have these fat hands. It's really hard to do stop motion with these guys. But other than that, I mean, it's very highly articulated. It looks just like the anime. And yeah, I did say cartoon yesterday. <laughs> But yeah, I know I knew I just knew somebody's gonna be like, he's in a cartoons anime. And then somebody else is like, you yell too much. But I think I speak with a lot of enthusiasm, so I don't think I yell. It's speaking with enthusiasm. Well, anyways, this is in the number eight spot. So I know with this next one, I might get some heat because I know a lot of you perfectionists is gonna be saying, this is not a 2019. This is way older than 2019. Well, you know what? The number seven spot goes to the ex God, I can't even speak straight. Convention exclusive Gohan. And yes, he is a 2019 release convention exclusive. Like I said, this is a top 10 2019 SH figure as release. And he was released uh, this past summer. Uh, of 2019 yes and the reason why he's at number seven is because he comes to updated colors I really like the darker blue with the lighter blue and yeah just the colors are much more rich compared to the old colors so I do love the new colors that they put on this convention exclusive and I also really really love the Super Saiyan faceplate on this figure it is just so freaking badass and it just looks like gohan so yeah he is in the number seven spot guys this is a 2019 release so shut up
All right, and for the number six spot, you guys are probably wondering who will be a number six. And here's a clue. I did this for Dragon Stars. If you guys remember who Dragon Stars number six was, well, I'm doing it the same thing for SH Figure Arts. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, dislike, dislike. I'm going to press the dislike button because I don't agree with this. But I'm sorry, folks. Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta goes at number six. And the reason why he goes at number six isn't anything wrong with him. It's just I have figures that I had more fun playing with. So that is why he is at the number six spot. He is an incredible figure. He looks just like the anime. The articulation is very, very great on this guy. And I love the colors on this guy. Just I had more fun playing with other figures this year so those of you that want to do the dislike button just because I put Gogeta at number six again well please don't dislike this video anyways let's move on and who could possibly beat Gogeta at number five I know a lot of you guys are gonna freaking hate me for this I am just waiting for the comment thread to blow up but sorry guys I'm gonna have to put the Great Saiyaman at number five. <coughs> wow, my throat got dried off of that. But yeah, the Great Saiyaman goes at number five. Reason why is because he's such a fun figure to play with. He comes with so much accessories. You can have him in, uh, you can have him in three, four. I don't know. There's like four or five different ways that you can have your Great Saiyaman. You can have him with the helmet, with the cape. You can have him with the bandana with the cape. You can just have him with the bandana like that, like the Tapion movie. Or you can have him unmasked with the black hair. Or you can have him at Super Saiyan. So yeah, many different ways to have this guy. And I just really enjoyed playing with this figure a lot. That's why he had to be at number five. If this was such a crappy year, he would be at my number one spot. But because this year, has just blown us away so much he is obligated to stay at number five so yeah for you Gohan haters I'm sorry but yeah he and for you Gogeta lovers I'm sorry but Gohan this is great Sam man had to go at number five live with it so for you folks that's already blown away with great Sam man beating Gogeta on a top 10's SH figure arts list is probably gonna even be further blown away probably gonna feel like I just kicked you in the nads because you're just not gonna agree with what I have to say on who's gonna be on the number four spot but the number four spot me personally I had to give it to Mr. Satan yeah I'm number four but yeah I had to put this guy at number four reason why once again is because he was very fun for me to play with this year is one of the most is one of the figures that I played with most in 2019 and not only that he looks incredible just like Mr. Satan he comes with a lot of accessories um, the minor gripes about him uh, being that the arm elbow pads keep popping off but I fixed that with super glue and other minor things about this guy I do wish he came with more posable hands like uh different posing action hands i don't know but yeah i really enjoyed playing this figure a lot this year so i am sorry if i have disappointed you do not hit that dislike button but if you have to i uh, uh, go ahead be my guest but yeah reason why he is at number four why he beat gogeta at number six is because he is a very fun figure to play with so yeah, I am just waiting for you guys to hate me for number three. All right, so for the number third spot, this was very easy. It is the full power Broly. And the reason why he is at number three is because he is bigger than life. He's a hunk of plastic, highly, highly articulated and very, very accurate to the anime. I had so much fun playing with this guy, so much fun posing this guy. 
and not necessarily playing and posing with this person, but, uh, sorry, not person, figure, uh, I just, for hours, just look at this figure in my hand and be like, wow, this is an art of God. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed looking at this figure a lot. It is just an, an appealing figure. Such good artistic work put into figure form. So yeah, this is why he was an easy top three. And yeah, you guys are probably wondering who the hell is number two. Let's go. Now for the number two spot, this was just really, 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 really hard. Really hard. Because I love these two figures. And one of them could have easily took it to the first place. So yeah, it's another double, guys. I'm sorry. I have to do this. Double whamming, two figures in second place. Majin Buu and uh, Piccolo Daimo. So yeah, these are the two that is in number two spot. Um, yeah, these two figures were very hard to choose. And I had to save the number one spot for the number one. But actually, in my opinion these two figures and the number one spot are all tied for first uh, I actually was gonna pick him to be number one and him to be number two but there's just another figure that I wanted to be second and first as well it's just this year was super hard and when you get a year like this where it's hard to pick the best SH figure arts or the best figure of the line that is when you know that a company is doing really freaking well with their artistic sculpting and the brainstorming on what to give the figures or whatnot so yeah i really love these two figures one because they're extremely tall two because they're large three highly articulated and they just look so appealing to the eye so that's why they're in the number two spot and if you guys guess what number one is then you guys are the man let's go on to the number one and the number one spot had to had to go to the monocle fit <laughs> yeah the best figure of the year yeah just kidding it wasn't the monocle fit i i just trolled you anyways number one spot for the year and if you've guessed it you're the man it's gonna have to be broly first form broly cutty broly however you want to call it it is Broly, and the reason why he is in number one is because this is my best, my favorite form of Broly. I love him when he's at base form with the yellow eyes. I love that hair. It's just, this is my favorite version of Broly. I just love this version of Broly, and that's the whole reason why he won. Because it's my favorite. He articulates very well. He looks very nice. He's just so appealing to my eyeballs he just looks great i just really love this figure um to be honest it was very hard for me to choose between him and piccolo because piccolo's colors are very uh rich very 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 rich like so it i'm a sucker for blue and i'm a sucker for really rich green but yeah it, piccolo's green and stuff was a lot more rich than broly's but just broly uh, the character and how he is I just really love him as well so that that's why he beat Piccolo just by a little bit just by a little bit but in my opinion Broly is the number one SH figure arts for the year if you guys disagree and you guys have your own set of uh, top 10 comment in the section below I know I didn't do this on my community tab so I'm very eager to know what your top 10 is um, I'm pretty sure I surprised a lot of you guys with my choices especially because having mr satan and um great sound man higher up the list uh probably i opened or probably made you guys hate me that they were higher than gogeta but anyways that's my list if you guys disagree once again comment in the section below i'm very interested to know what your top 10 is once again this was very very fun i wish you guys a new year uh if you guys haven't had the time yet check me out and Kenny Boys Toys on Instagram with the Z in the middle. Follow me there. We're very close to a thousand. And if you have not liked this video or subscribed to my channel yet, I suggest you do. 
for I'm always posting up cool content like these. I won't see you guys till next year, so that will be a very long time, which is tomorrow. But yeah, I'm work. I'm in the works with um, some tutorials, some off the Dragon Ball subject, and I also have a uh, My Hero Academia stop motion that I'm working on. And dude, the voice actors for this stop motion is incredible, so I can't wait for you guys to meet them. But yeah, with that said, thanks for watching, guys, and. Have a great day!